yeah, so we're going to uh, the route called Krakowas when I've finished putting this camera away. Uh, it's about seven or eight pitches and it finishes there. So we have not got far to walk at the end, which was one of the main reasons we chose it. <laughs> this is not a walking video. Good lunge. Luckily you're not wearing light. He's got a mound. <laughs> He's got a mound. Uh, Russian shot put a sort of collection of lumps. <laughs> you are definitely not short of uh, bolts. No. No! I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> you know in uh, Britain they, they don't have it bolted. Just kind of see that. So we've just done the first four pitches of the uh, route, Krakowas. Really good route, really good pitches actually, odd bit of loose rock. And then the final pitch, it only gets five C in the book, but it's uh, quite pokey. I, I believe both seconds found it quite tricky as well, but I have to ask the cameraman about that. But yeah, it was really good, good quality rock. And we've just done a 25 meter abseil, so four pitches done. Uh, a little buttress with two pitches and then a final buttress with one more pitch and we'll be done. Well, we finished uh, Krakowas, brilliant route. The last pitch was by far the best. Really good, up some small flakes and then a really wide crack. And I, I had quite sore feet by that stage. It took me a while to psych up to get my feet in it, but uh, that's what you've got to do. You've got to get involved, be a br brutal with it. But brilliant pitch and a brilliant route. It's about 100 meters to the lift, so happy days all round. called the index. If you forget the name, you just look at the chairlift 100 meters away. You go, oh yeah, it's the index. Not one of the more historical peaks, the index. You can't really miss it every time you come up the chair. And there's some slightly trickier routes on the front face that I've done, but I think for sheer quality, this one's probably the best. It's super easy, like we're climbing in big boots, but it's really good quality climbing, plenty of protection and uh, loads of exposure and then yeah when you're belaying you get the view so it's the only problem is it can be pretty busy so we had to get up so early this morning the demands of being a film star but that's life isn't it Don't worry about whether I'm safe, just uh, make sure my GoPro is on. <laughs> we are on top of the index and it's, uh, well, I presume the chairlift's named after the peak, but the same name as the, the chairlift at Flagere. My sort of approach actually, about 10 minutes, maybe 15 if you take your time. The, the climbing's nice, the rock's really good, there's everything, you know, there's a variety of grades, but it's the whole situation. It's like there'll be people shivering up there, having a right epic and you're here bathed in perfect sunshine with that view behind. And uh, I'd say the best thing about it is the view. So the Clocheton is a route at uh, the top of the Brevon. No, not the top of the Brevon, the mid-station of the Brevon. The defining feature on the Clocheton is the variety. So you 
do a bit of climbing, you do some abseiling, and you do your tyrolean. You remember when you went to the Adventure Playground, it just seemed like the coolest thing ever, where the Quasha Tom's like the adult version of that. Drop down this crack here and 50 meters disappeared, so God knows where it ends up. <laughs> Somewhere near hell, I think. <laughs> More door. <laughs> Too easy, like. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, it was nice climbing, man. Very nice. Exploration in the Aigui Rouge. Some climbers would say, possibly rightly, that it's the better side of the valley. Certainly the less scary. It's got an amazing view. There are no glaciers, you're not going to fall in the crevasse, there's plenty of bolts, the rock's good. So it's a really nice place to climb. We've done three absolutely classic routes, and hopefully it'll get people interested in climbing up here because it really is uh, an amazing place to, to spend a few days. 